video three of Neapolitan pizza. So here I'm beginning to top a pizza and I'm just using some store-bought sauce. Um, you can make your own if you're that ambitious. Uh -huh. You can also use pesto or, pesto or you can just use some olive oil and some fresh herbs, whatever you like. But we're using a traditional pizza sauce for this, this uh, particular pizza. You do not want to oversauce these pizzas because the crust is so thin it'll get very soggy. So don't oversauce, don't overtop. And then we're going to do some cheese. This is a, a pizza blend just from the store. I like fresh grated, but it's the pandemic and I haven't been in a store in over a month. So I do what Kroger's pickup list will bring to me. So I'm going to use some of that. And then I have some Parmesan. So we at least have a, a double cheese blend. Again, don't over cheese, don't over top because um, it'll just be too much and you'll have a soggy bottom and nobody wants a soggy bottom. So on this one, we're gonna put some olives. fresh chopped garlic. And I caramelized some onions um, right after I took the dough out of the fridge and I had time. So these are not hot. I'm not sticking my hand into a, a scalding hot pan. Um, then we're going to put some caramelized onions on here. And we've got a pizza coming through here. This is the first pizza we did and it is it baked for about um, seven minutes. Hmm. And you can see how the crust puffed. We don't roll over that, those edges, and that causes this, this puffy crust. And I think this one has peppers and onions and garlic, so we'll serve that really quickly. So there's the onions on this one, and this one is ready for the oven. And um, in your oven at home, uh, if you're doing a 500-degree oven, it's going to be maybe 8 minutes, 10, depending. You just kind of watch it. Uh, in the propane oven, it's about 7 minutes at 700 degrees. So... Thank you.